up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The solar impulse is on its way around the world. Tele Expo 2015 declared a resounding success. And ANN's infamous April Fool's Day issue is in the cooker. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. The flight of the solar impulse is a combination of high technology, the spirit of man to take a step into the unknown, and sheer adventure. Andre Borschberg and Bertrand Picard are on their way for the first flight around the world in an aircraft that uses electric power as its only source of propulsion. The Solar Impulse is a two-place aircraft powered by four electric motors. The power source is batteries, but more than 17,000 solar cells built into the top of the wing provide the charging capability for the aircraft to fly for several days and nights without landing. The amazing aircraft departed Abu Dhabi in the UAE just after sunrise early Monday morning and has reached its first intended landing point at Muscat, Oman. The flight went well, but not without some delays caused by weather and a minor technical problem. At a cruise speed of about 25 knots and numerous planned stops along the way, it's expected to take about five months to complete the around-the-world flight. Interest in helicopters appears to be high as the HAI Heli Expo 2015 posted robust attendance numbers for the annual helicopter industry trade show and conference. They counted more than 18,000 registered attendees and participation by manufacturers, suppliers, and service providers to the industry was just as strong. The show floor hosted 735 exhibitors, including 116 first-time participants. 57 aircraft were displayed on the show floor. HAI's president and CEO, Matt Zaccaro, said, quote, From my perspective, the show has been great. People are upbeat and excited, and reports indicate that a lot of business is being done on the show floor. I've received nothing but compliments and praise for HAI staff and the wonderful job they're doing, end quote. The outcome of Heli Expo 2015 seems to support analyst prediction of an upswing in the rotorcraft market over the next five-year period. After the break, you can always believe what you read on ANN, or can you? The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell is issuing the following warning. April 1st is just around the corner and we take no prisoners. Just in case you're new to ANN, be prepared for stories on April 1st that may just be a bit over the top and seem like we're pulling your chain. And that's because they will be over the top and we will be pulling your chain. Based on all the nonsense we've had to endure in 2014 through 2015, which we are duty bound to lampoon, this may be one of our best years yet. And as always, no one is safe. We're going to have some fun with everyone. So there's no friends or foes in this endeavor, only targets. We make things up, we get silly, and we exaggerate and lampoon. In other words, we act weirder than the loons who run the FAA. Time is fast ticking down to the date the entire ANN staff look forward to every year. And your suggestions for worthwhile April 1st topics and story ideas are always welcome. Just drop a line to editor at aero-news.net. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the most interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. March 
13th through the 15th marks the Valiant Air Command Warbird Museum and Tyco Warbird Air Show in Titusville, Florida. This 38th consecutive event will feature the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds in addition to daily aerial performances. It's a major show. The Civil and Commercial UAS Symposium East will be held in Washington, D.C. on March 18th and 19th. The markets for civil and commercial unmanned aircraft systems and aerial vehicles are poised to explode, and this is the place to get the information. Southern California comes alive on March 21st and 22nd with the 2015 Los Angeles County Air Show. Being held at Fox Field near Palmdale, it features the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds and world-renowned aerobatic performers. March 23rd starts the four-day MBAA International Operators Conference, which is being held in San Antonio, Texas. The International Operators Conference provides operational, regulatory, and real-life information for flying in the international arena. After these messages, claims are made that the FAA is wasting money. No kidding. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro standby instrument, TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Pat. <music> Citizens Against Government Waste and five other taxpayer watchdog organizations sent a letter to the FAA Administrator urging him to improve management at the agency regarding the Air Traffic Control Optimum Training Solution Program. The program is over budget by $89 million. Management and labor relations at NetJets does not appear to be improving. The pilot labor union accused NetJets of an unlawful campaign to intimidate pilots and ultimately destroy the union through a wide variety of anti-union activities. A state senator in Florida has filed a bill that would prevent the use of UAVs for some surveillance activities in the state, and the ban would extend to state agencies. The issue is privacy and unlawful surveillance. Able Flight proffered seven awards to fulfill its mission of providing flight training scholarships for people with disabilities. The recipients of the flight training scholarships come from throughout the country, and face challenges from a variety of physical disabilities. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. Once again, the EAA is celebrating the people that make aviation so endearing by holding the annual Women Venture Gathering on Wednesday, July 22nd at EAA Air Venture this year. Co-sponsored by Emory-Riddle Aeronautical University, Sensor Systems, the 99s, and Women in Aviation International, Women Venture is a tremendous experience for women pilots who want to become pilots or work in the aviation or aerospace industry. Kelly Nelson of Women in Aviation International said, quote, Women Venture is a tremendous experience for women, particularly as it comes during the world's greatest aviation celebration at Oshkosh. It builds camaraderie and allows us to use our collective voice 
to inspire and motivate women of all ages to get engaged in aviation, either for fun and or as part of their career aspirations. Women Venture helps open doors to participation, mentorship, knowledge, and support, end quote. Well, that's our program for Tuesday, March 10th. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday. Join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.